So last week I put out a video where we brute force an iPhone 6s using a specific forensic tool that's not available to the public. So I got all the questions people asking, well is there a solution for uh, for those of us who can't purchase this software or those who can't obtain it or people who can't buy Celebrate and the other tools like Axiom. So I figured I'm gonna make this video today to show you there's a there's few tools out there that you can buy and there's few that are free. So this video is going to be a very short one regarding a free tool. You might know about it or you might not know. It's not exactly a well-known tool, but it's been out there for quite a while now. I think it's been out um, for a year or so, maybe a bit longer. So this specific tool is for brute forcing uh, phones. Uh, I've seen it used on an iPhone and I've seen it used on Android. There's probably a limit of what it can and what it can do. But it's out there and it's free. You just, you just need a few things like a uh, rooted phone and another phone which is your target. Uh, what not. But before I start, make sure you share and like this video. It helps the channel. Drop a comment, drop a like. Uh, it definitely, any comment you leave or like, it helps this channel quite a bit. So I appreciate all of them. So let's go see what tool I'm talking about. Like I said, you might know about this tool, but some of you probably don't. So the tool I'm talking about is Android Pin Brute Force. It's completely free. You can get it from GitHub. I'm going to link it down below in the description and you can grab it there. Like I said, there's few prerequisites for this. You need, you need a rooted phone and you also need your target phone. And I've seen people use it on iPhones. I've seen people use it on different devices. So it is possible. It will work. It just depends on a lot of different factors such as uh, is there a 10 try lockout and uh, or race and things like that. So. You know, if you, I wouldn't risk customer devices with this because I'm sure you've seen me on my videos where I use Cellbrite to bypass lock altogether on some, some phones. For example, some encrypted devices, we can actually just bypass the lock completely. It doesn't matter what it is. We don't have to brute force anything. It simply loads a specific bootloader and it, it gets into the data that way. Even though it's encrypted, we can still get it. A good example of that would be the video I put out about a month and a half ago is Galaxy S9 that is fully encrypted and it was running the latest version of Android. I'll link it above. You can watch it if you want uh, after this video. I recommend you do watch it because it's quite interesting. And also, don't forget, there's the video I put out last week, which was the iPhone, brute forcing iPhone. That video got a lot of uh, people asking questions. This is the reason for this video today. So here's the, the Android pin brute force. As you can see, you'll need two phones. So you have the lock device that you're going to hook up your uh, OTG cable. And then you have your rooted device that you will use as the device that can uh, run the code that can brute force the phone. I, I honestly think you might be even able to run this uh, Android pin brute force on a Raspberry Pi. I wouldn't say you couldn't. I mean, I, I don't see why you couldn't. So installation is quite simple. You're gonna have to be doing all through bash uh, or terminal on your Android device, the one that's rooted, right? So this is where you're gonna be executing your commands. Uh, and it, it's a command line tool, obviously. So you're gonna have to uh, Dust off the old keyboard. Uh, well, I mean, it's a touchscreen touch screen keyboard, so I guess you're not dusting off anything. It's already full of fingerprints and dirt and grime, so maybe clean up your keyboard a little bit. So here we go. There's a lot of options you can use. You can uh, use the length of the, uh, the, uh, of the, of the pin, uh, whether it's three digits or six digits. You can also optimize your pin number, so you can go from a specific numbers if you want. This is just like the other thing I showed last week, uh, where we can set up specific numbers that we want to brute force. So there's that option. So all, all, all of it, all the configuration is here. If there's interest in this particular video, then I might actually make a, a, a demonstration video uh, how to brute force another device. So I'm going to definitely uh, do it at some point in time. So yeah, all the information is here. <clears throat> like I said, today's video is short. I'm just going to talk about the, the tool. There's this tool that exists. There's also a few other ones. Um, I know that there's another company that makes a brute forcing tool. So go to this website, check it, check it out. Uh, if you're going to try it, let me know in the comments if you tried it or any phone, what phone will work for you, what phone it didn't. Uh, I'm definitely interested in this because I want to try these free tools. It's, uh, I'm sure uh, you might have a phone in your drawer that you forgot your password and some old Android. This would be the perfect program 
or, or, or um, this would be the perfect program to use uh, to brute force these passcodes because you know I, I don't think you want to be if, if it's not something important then you know if you want to spend the money for the unlocking I mean this, this is your, your, your option I guess uh, but if it's something important you should definitely send it out don't play with customers devices either you're gonna lose their data uh, don't try to save a buck if it's something important then I wouldn't be really risking uh, someone's data like that so yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you next week.